Number three, put a crucifix everywhere. One of the first things we would try to get them to focus on at Mass was just the crucifix that's up behind the altar and like, where's Jesus? Where's Jesus? Having the crucifix at home, it introduces them to Jesus, to who he is and what he's done for us. Protestants, you know, say, you know, you Catholics, why do you keep Jesus hanging on the cross? You know, he's raised from the dead and it's kind of like that saying, you know, why do you keep your wedding picture up? You're already married. I don't ever want to forget the day that we got married. It was one of you know, the greatest days of my life. It's the same thing, that that image of the crucifix is the image of a wedding, that where God wed himself to his bride, the church. There's a great organization down in Florida that I've utilized at a lot of my events and talks called free, freecrucifix.org. Um, they got a little overwhelmed, but it's an amazing ministry where they were trying to get a free crucifix in every home in America. They're absolutely beautiful crucifixes. Right now, they are so backed up, they're not taking orders. But if you go to that website, keep an eye on it. Um, I think they're trying to rebuild it. They're trying to raise enough funds um, where you can go and you can get those crucifixes. And so um, we really encourage you to put the crucifix up everywhere to remind your children how much God loves them. That picture, that image, that crucifix, it's just so, so powerful for your kids to understand who God is. And again, we're not just trying to teach them a faith and teach them a catechism. We're trying to help them fall in love with the God of the universe.